Martha served while Lazarus was among those reclining at the table with him. Then Mary took out a pint of pure nard, an expensive perfume. She poured it on Jesus' feet and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, who was later to betray him, objected. Why wasn't this perfume sold and the money given to the poor? It was worth a year's wages. He did not say this because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. As keeper of the money bag, he used to help himself to what was put into it. Leave her alone, Jesus replied. It was intended that she should save this perfume for the day of my burial. You will always have the poor among you, but you will not always have me. The word of the Lord. Amen. In our uh, chapter of Mark that we will look at uh, shortly, Jesus talks about how it is not what goes into you that defiles you, but rather what comes out of you that defiles you. And here, Judas shows that something is deeply wrong in his heart. Well, Mary shows by what comes out of her that there is something deeply beautiful that is in her heart. Let us come before the Lord and pray. Father in heaven, as we look at this story and see what comes out of the hearts of both Judas and Mary, we confess, O oh God, that sometimes what comes out of us, what comes out of our hearts, indicates that there is something deeply wrong in our hearts. Sometimes, O oh God, we steal from You. We steal from You by claiming mistakenly that what You have provided belongs to us and us alone. We steal from You, O oh God, by pretending that we are holy and righteous, but then hogging the time you have given us and the talents you have given us and the resources you have given us to ourselves for our own pleasure, for our own benefit. We steal from you, O oh God, by mocking those things that are given exuberantly and freely to you. Calling them extravagance when really they are simply appropriate gifts for you, Jesus, our King and Savior. Lord, please, as we take a moment of silent reflection, bring to mind for us those times where we have stolen from you through our actions or through our inactions. Father, thank you for hearing our prayer. Help us, O oh God. You clearly worked a beautiful miracle in Mary's heart so that she longed to display her love for you in a self-sacrificing way. Help us, O oh God in this coming week, to share our love for you in a similarly extravagant way 
wherever we may be called, whatever you lead us to do, may we submit our lives to you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Our words of assurance come from Psalm 145, in which we read, The Lord is righteous in all His ways and faithful in all He does. The Lord is near to all who call on Him, to all who call on Him in truth. As we continue our worship with living hope and speak, O Lord, let us call on God in truth, for He is faithful and He will surely answer our prayer.